Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Docs and this is the Bite or Not Mini Review Series. Today we are going to take a look at a small game that I picked up on Desura.com. This one is called Accidental Runner. At first when I saw a few screenshots of the game I was like, what is this stuff? But I said, okay, well, it, uh, it goes for 3.5 euros, that's about 5 dollars I think. So taking into account the fact that uh, I've sometimes drank coffee that's more expensive than that, I said, okay, let's take a look at this. Who knows, we might be entertained. As usual, I don't uh, play the game before uh, recording the video, because I want this to be as close as my experience is usually when getting at the game. So if I play for 10-20 minutes and I don't like it, unless I see a video or a stream that tells me otherwise I will, I, I will probably let it be in my uh, library until sometime in the future that they put up a, an update, put out an update or something that will make it more interesting. So let us start. This game is a one-man uh, show, so it seems that it was developed by a guy called Albert, Albert Espin. And the music was made by Jordi Altayo, I think these are pronounced, most of the music, okay. But let us start, so we see we've got a few pyramids over here, I don't, I can't seem to get access to any menus at this point, but okay, let us start the first, uh, the first stage. Not sure, okay, so I move left and right. What? Okay. I was touched by something. What? Come on, what's going on? I need to keep moving, keep moving. Oh, oh man. Uh, I'm, I've got nothing. What's going on? What's touching me? Come on! Oh. oh man, I think I'm going to get really frustrated soon. I've seen a presentation video of this and they were running and running and running and running and running and running and I die every 5 seconds? Oh, do I have any other keys? Or just left and... Okay, I push something. Okay, so Q pauses it. I have then left and right, and uh, what? Wow. Okay. So this is the first stage. Let me try and run. Why? 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 I, I never touch anything. So why am I dying? Come on, game. Let me, let me win, please let, always on that one, what the, no, I think the, the hitboxes on these things are, come on, okay, let's try next stage, oh, magic carpets, let's, <laughs> awesome, awesome, I, if I run out of the... Okay, so this guy this guy really liked Flappy Birds, I assume. But I think he had like a 800 score on Flappy Birds. And said, okay, let's torture people with another game. Oh man, I'm too old to have reflexes for this kind of stuff. But I'm sure, I'm sure this game would, would be awesome if you want to, to torture someone. Just hack it, write yourself with a, I don't know, very high score and then challenge your friends to, to beat it. And then take, take something to drink, take a, sit on a very comfy sofa and watch them rage about it for the next couple of hours. No, yeah, well, let's see, another stage. What? Ok, 
Okay, so now, now I'm not allowed over here. Okay, so now I have got nothing. Okay, so well, this lasted less than a cup of coffee. Okay, so if anyone has uh, any further questions, you can go to desera.com and pick this up. If you like it, you can go on Steam Greenlight and vote for it. If you... Uh, okay, so I'm sorry, but... <laughs> yeah, no, money, money not... Yeah, well, yeah, well, of course. Flappy Birds, what can I say? If you enjoyed that, I've, I think I have a score of 1 at Flappy Birds. I sucked really, really bad. So I'm not going to say anything. If this kind of games are your cup of tea and your hands can still put out the reflexes that you need for them, then this game is a steal. But if you want something uh, a little uh, better, I say you can go for uh, Civilization Beyond Earth, for example. I think that's what I'm going to go for now, just to relax my, my fingers for a little while, because uh, after uh, this, uh, th this entire like 5 minutes that I've been punching this, my fingers hurt. <laughs> I think that th this guy should add like a very very noob level, where you have free, free things coming towards you, so that you can actually get a feel for the size of the hitboxes on the on the objects and stuff like that. So basically, if, the, if he adds stage zero and stage zero point five with some tutorials in them, this game might end up being. But at this point, for me at least, the curve is way too big to keep playing it anymore. So yeah, for 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 what it does, the price is yeah pretty much all right. I think this would be pretty good on a on a mobile device also, but uh, there you need uh, you need a little bit more balancing to to actually get the touch the touch interface to respond properly to to it. But I'm not going to make this any longer because the game is not one that needs longer presentation. So go to thesura.com if you like it. If not, stay in, stay in touch and I'll see what other fun and silly games I can come up with to show you. I am Docs, this is the Bind or Not mini review series and I wish to all of you a very good day. Well actually an awesome day. <laughs>